Thank you for purchasing a Janome machine. This machine incorporates such distinctive features as a long arm body with a wide detachable extension table, an automatic thread cutter, a worldwide auto voltage power system, and much more. This machine comes with useful accessories, including more than a dozen unique presser feet. We're sure you'll be glad you chose a Janome machine, and it will bring you much enjoyment in the fantastic world of sewing craft and quilting. Preparation Connecting the power supply This machine is equipped with a two-way speed control for sewing. You can use either the foot control or the start-stop button to operate the machine. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, make sure to turn the power switch off. If you plan to use the foot control, insert the pin connector into the jack. Connect the power supply cord by inserting the plug into the machine. Insert the plug into the power outlet. Machine Operating Buttons The five machine operating buttons are conveniently grouped together for easy access while sewing. Start-Stop Button Press the Start-Stop button to start or to stop the machine. Please note, however, that the start-stop button will not work when the foot control is connected. The machine will run slowly as long as this button is pressed, and will start running at the speed set by the speed control slider when the button is released. Pressing this button again while the machine is running will slow down the machine, and it will stop when the button is released. This function is extremely useful when precise control of stitching is necessary. Reverse Button The machine will sew in reverse as long as the reverse button is being pressed when straight stitches and zigzag stitches are being sewn. To secure the beginning of a seam, press and hold this button so that the machine will sew in reverse at the slowest speed. When other patterns are selected, pressing the reverse button causes the machine to lock the stitch in place and stop automatically. Auto Lock Button The machine immediately locks the stitch and will stop automatically by pressing the auto lock button when straight stitches and zigzag stitches have been selected. When other patterns are selected, the machine will sew to the end of the pattern being sewn, then lock the stitch and stop automatically. Needle Up Down Button Press the needle up-down button to bring the needle to the up or down position. The machine will stop with the needle in down position. However, you can change the needle stop position in the setting mode. Thread Cutter Button Press this button to trim the threads after sewing. You can sew the next stitch without pulling the bobbin thread up. If you are using thick threads or the twin needle, use the thread cutter on the faceplate. Speed Control Slider the speed control slider sets the sewing speed. To decrease the speed, shift the slider to the left. Shift to the right to increase the speed. Winding the bobbin 
Extra spool pin. Use the extra spool pin when you need to wind the bobbin without unthreading the machine while working on a sewing project. Open the top cover. Insert the extra spool pin into the spool stand and then into the hole beside the horizontal spool pin. Put the felt in place. Set a spool of thread. Winding the bobbin. Turn the power switch off. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. Take out the bobbin. Turn the power switch on. Set the spool of thread on the spool pin like this and secure it with the spool holder. Hold the thread with both hands and pass it into the guide slot and then draw it around and to the back of the thread guide. Still holding the thread with your left hand, firmly pull the thread to the right with your right hand. Pass the thread through the hole in the bobbin from inside. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Push the bobbin winder spindle to the right. Start the machine. Stop the machine when the bobbin has wound several layers and cut the thread close to the hole in the bobbin. Start the machine again. Stop the machine when the bobbin is fully wound and stops spinning. Return the bobbin winder spindle to its original position. Remove the bobbin and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Inserting the bobbin. Turn the power switch off. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise. Guide the thread into the front notch of the bobbin holder. Draw the thread to the left sliding it between the tension spring blades. Continue to draw the thread lightly until the thread slips into the side notch. Pull about 10 centimeters or 4 inches of thread to the back and attach the hook cover plate. Threading the machine. Turn the power switch on and raise the needle by pressing the needle up-down button. Turn the power switch off. Raise the presser foot. Hold the thread with your hands and pass it into the guide slot. Still holding the thread with your hands, draw it firmly around the corner and towards you along the channel. Pull it down along the right channel. Pull the thread up around the guide plate and along the left channel. Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the lower thread guide and the needle bar thread guide. Needle threader. Lower the presser foot. Push the threader lever down slowly as far as it will go. The hook comes out through the needle eye and the threader is held in the down position. Pull the thread down around the left thread guide and then pass it from left to right under the hook. Draw the thread around the right thread guide towards you. Raise the knob slowly and a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Remove the thread end through the needle eye and pull the thread to the left. Drawing up the bobbin thread. Turn the power switch on. Raise the presser foot. While holding the needle thread with your finger, press the needle up-down button twice. Pull the needle thread to lift the loop of the bobbin thread.
slide 10 centimeters or 4 inches of both threads to the back under the presser foot. Setting up for sewing. Raising and lowering the presser foot. The presser foot lifter raises and lowers the presser foot. You can raise the presser foot higher than the normal up position. This helps you change the needle plate and place thick fabrics under the foot. The machine will not start if the presser foot is up. The knee lifter is useful when sewing patchwork, quilting, etc., since it allows you to handle the fabric while your knee controls the presser foot. Refer to the instruction manual for more information. Detaching and attaching the presser foot. Turn the power switch on and raise the needle by pressing the needle up-down button. Turn the power switch off. Raise the presser foot by pushing up the presser foot lifter. Press the black lever on the back of the foot holder. The presser foot will drop. Place the desired foot under the foot holder so the pin on the foot lies just under the groove of the foot holder. Lower the presser foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Adjusting foot pressure. Depending on the sewing conditions, the foot pressure should be adjusted. The dial has seven setting positions from one to seven so you can fine-tune foot pressure. For general sewing, set the foot pressure dial at five. Reduce the pressure for appliques and sewing fine fabrics. Increase the pressure for heavy fabrics. Dropping the feed dog. For button sewing and free motion quilting, the feed dog can be lowered with the drop feed lever located on the right side of the machine. Shift the lever towards you to drop the feed dog. Shift the lever away from you to raise the feed dog and it will return to the up position when you start the machine. Thread Tension this machine features a semi-auto tension control setting which covers a wide range of sewing conditions. Set the tension control dial at auto for general sewing. However, you may need to adjust the tension manually depending on sewing conditions such as the type of fabric and number of layers. Turn the dial to a higher number to increase the tension. To decrease the tension, turn it to a lower number. Selecting Patterns There is a wide selection of stitch patterns and monograms available. Open the flip-up reference chart to identify all the patterns at a glance. These patterns are classified into modes for easy reference. When turning the power switch on, the LCD screen will show straight stitch 1 of Mode 1 selected. The stitch patterns in Mode 1 can be directly selected by pressing the number key. The stitch images are displayed on the keys. For patterns of the other modes, press the Mode key to select the desired mode. Enter two-digit pattern numbers with the number keys to select the desired pattern. The LCD screen will display the mode number, pattern number, and stitch image along with preset stitch width and length and recommended foot. Practical Sewing Dual Feed Device This machine is equipped with a built-in dual feed device. It ensures a smooth and even feed of all kinds of fabrics. Setting the Dual Feed Device Raise the needle by pressing the needle up-down button. Turn the power switch off and raise the presser foot with the presser foot lifter. Loosen the set screw and remove the foot holder.
Attach the dual feed holder to the presser bar and temporarily tighten the set screw. Push the dual feed link to engage it with the upper feed drive. Lower the presser foot and needle. Tighten the set screw securely with a screwdriver. Sewing with a dual feed device. These patterns can be used with a dual feed device. Use the straight stitch needle plate when seaming very fine fabrics. Position the fabric under the foot. Lower the needle to the point where you wish to start. Lower the presser foot. Start the machine and sew at medium speed, letting the fabric feed naturally. Dual Feed Adjusting Dial If the lower layer puckers, turn the dual feed adjusting dial toward the plus sign. If the upper layer puckers, turn the dual feed adjusting dial toward the minus sign. Replacing the needle plate Use the straight stitch needle plate when sewing straight stitch. Turn the power switch off. Slide the extension table to the left to remove it. Raise the presser foot to the extra lifted position. Push down the needle plate release lever and the needle plate will pop up. Remove the needle plate by lifting it to the right. Place the straight stitch needle plate on the machine. Insert the left edge of the needle plate into the opening and push down on the mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. Lower the presser foot to the normal up position. Turn the power switch on. Turn the hand wheel slowly and check that the needle does not hit the needle plate. Stitch patterns 1S to 4S can be sewn with a straight stitch needle plate. The other stitch patterns cannot be selected when the straight stitch needle plate is attached. Altering Stitch Length and Width Stitch length and width are programmed and optimized for the selected pattern, but you can adjust them to suit your specific sewing needs. To alter stitch length, press the Stitch Length Adjusting key.